All right, so for this video, I'm obviously going to tell you guys a quick guide or tutorial on how to get an Aorus and what enemies to stick out so you could destroy and farm them in order to fill out the vessel symbol. Now, every time you go into the tomb of Inaros, pretty much what you're going to get is a jar or a vessel, however you guys want to put it. And every time you get a different one, there's at least three, so that means you got to go for three different enemies. For each one, you're going to get a tier. Now, the first vessel that you get, it's always going to be, it's obviously going to be tier one. And the second vessel that you're going to get is obviously going to be tier two. And the third one, you know how that shit goes. Now, for tier one, you're going to have to kill 60 of these enemies that are symbolized in the vessel. And for tier two, I think it's going to be 20. Yeah, I think it is 20. And for tier three, it's obviously just going to be five times that you have to kill that enemy. So yeah, it shouldn't be that hard except for the first one. I guess if you don't really like killing that many enemies or you can't really find that specific enemy. But good thing you stumbled to this guy because I'm obviously going to be telling you guys where to find them or the best place to find them. Now, let's get to it, shall we? Now, I'm going to I'm showing you guys the symbol 1 and this is for a tier 1 enemy that you're going to have to find and this one's pretty much belongs to the Corpus faction and it's going to be called the Detron Crewman. All right, so pretty much the Detron Crewman is not really that hard to spot or find at all in missions. Just make sure that you're doing any Corpus survival mission and you should be able to farm them in no time. Now the second symbol that I'm showing you guys right now on the screen, it, this one's pretty much an infested enemy and it's also known as a volatile runner. Alright so just like the Detron Crewman, the volatile runner isn't really going to be that hard for you guys to find so simply just do it in ODD or an ODS and you should be able to kill a lot of them in no time and you should be able to reach that 60 kill count in no time as well. Alright last but not least, the symbol that I'm showing you guys on the screen is going to be pretty much the Seeker from the Grenier faction and all you guys have have to do in order to farm this enemy type is well me and my friends did is we went to the planet known as Ceres and then we did the survival mission and these guys don't start popping on until the 10 minute mark and you're at least gonna have to run this survival mission at least like two or three times but anyways that's about it those are all the tier one enemies and you're obviously gonna have to kill 60 of them so good luck and to be honest the picture really annoyed the crap out of me to begin with because that shit does not look at all like a seeker so if you guys got the symbol that I'm showing you on the screen right now then that means that pretty much you're gonna have to farm for the new enemy that was introduced along with Inaros in 18.5 and it's pretty much called the Hayeka Master now what I did no this isn't what I did because I didn't really get this enemy type in my vessel but if you guys did get it what you guys want to do is you want to head on over to the planet known as Ceres and you want to do an interception mission known as Draco Anyways, they start appearing at round 2, so you want to stick until round 4 at least if you got a good team. I don't know how your playstyle is, or you could just join with randoms. There's always random people playing this mission. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys get this symbol on your vessel and it looks something like this, like I'm showing you right now on the screen, then pretty much it's going to be a broodmother, and this is an enemy that belongs to the faction known as the Infestation. And pretty much what you guys want to be doing is you want to go ahead and join or do a ODD or an ODS. And let me tell you something about these enemies they are really not that rare to spot or rare to spawn in infestation games. So it shouldn't take you guys that long to get them. And last but not least is going to be the Railgun Moa. That's if you get the symbol that I'm showing you on the screen as of right now. And pretty much what you guys can do is you can go to the planet known as Jupiter and you can do a survival mission named Ilara. Pretty much they won't start spawning until after you get past the point of the 10 minute mark. So yeah guys, at least it's not really going to be that difficult. Alright so this symbol is pretty much going to be for the last tier which is tier 3 and it's going to be a juggernaut so pretty much what you guys want to do is you want to go to the plan known as Eries and you want to do any exterminate mission or any infestation mission that can spawn a juggernaut. So that's about it for this enemy and hopefully this helps you guys out. Alright, so the following symbol that I'm showing you guys in the vessel is pretty much going to be a maniac and what you guys want to do is you want to head on over to the planet known as Uranus and we're going to be doing the boss fight. You're at least going to run this boss fight at least once or twice and we're going to be assassinating Tal Rigor. Once you get to the final stage or to the boss arena or to the boss stage where Tal Rigor is obviously going to be at, there's going to be a lot of maniacs spawning so like I said, you should at least run this mission once or twice and after that you should be good. Alright, so 
the last symbol that I'm going to be showing you is an enemy that I ended up getting and the symbol that I'm showing you on the screen right now is pretty much going to belong to the Corpus enemy faction it's also known as the Denial Bursa now the first time I heard it was a Denial Bursa I was like what the fuck is that where the hell am I going to find this crap but luckily you stumbled onto this guy if you had the same questions in your head like I did but either way, we're going to be doing a assassination mission on Pluto. And I'm not sure if the Bursas just spawn on this mission. They could pretty much spawn in any of them, to be honest. I haven't really tried it. But just for peep sakes, we're just going to go ahead and assassinate Ambulus. Now, you could pretty much kill him before after setting off the alarms. What you guys want to do is you want to make sure you alert the enemies and one of them sees you and then they run to the terminal and then they set off the alarms. Now the reason that you have to allow the enemy to set off the alarm is for Lotus is pretty much going to give you a warning or a message saying that reinforcements are incoming, there's a bursa heading your way. Pretty much you're going to get at least like four different bursas but make sure when you see the denial bursa you kill that shit as soon as possible. And you want to make sure your teammates don't hack the terminals and they stick around. Another thing I, w I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this is make sure you're doing this with the squad that knows that you're farming for the denial of bursas or make sure you're doing this solo you could do it solo as well also because if you're gonna be playing with randoms or in public game lobby then pretty much they're just gonna fuck your shit up so after that where was i oh yeah about the terminals make sure you don't hack the terminals unless they lock you in or lock you out unless the little knot turns goes from white to yellow then you could hack it because if it's on yellow and I know it's gonna happen, then pretty much that means that the verses aren't gonna be able to get to the area or in the room that you're camping in. And you guys wanna stay put in one room because if you just go on and about, the game's actually gonna spawn the verses somewhere else and you're never gonna actually see it. And all the verses might just pile up on you and they could kill you. And trust me, they took out my frost and I have redirection and vitality on that shit and they're almost all maxed out. So trust me when I say that they can one shot your ass. Either way guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is about it. Sorry about me taking a long time to cover the update 18.5 and doing the Naros quest. Well, actually I actually already had it done. It's just that I ended up getting Ratchet and Clank and I'd rather just play something new. Not that I'm saying that Warframe is getting old and boring. It's not. It's always refreshing. It, I enjoy playing the crap out of it. But yeah, I just wanted to finish making a walkthrough for Ratchet and Clank. That's about it. Thanks for watching this guy, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped you out. And I'm out.